We are here in Soho at the real estate brokerage Sirhant, the real estate firm Ryan Sirhant started in 2020 at the height of the pandemic. He now employs about 550 people in multiple states. He got his first big break on Bravo's million dollar listing. Now he has a Netflix deal. We're gonna ask him about that. We show you the offices you can't see. Welcome to my office. Lydia, you wanna take a tour? Let's go. Walk us through your process of how you decided to lay this whole thing out. Just create it and just put it everywhere. So this building was initially built basically on spec for Tommy Hilfiger. 15,000 square feet over four floors at the corner of West Broadway and Broome. So for some tenants, you know, they just need this floor. Most tenants don't need the whole building. Did you have your eye on this space for a while? You know what, I would walk by this building all the time and you know six seven years ago it's like man one day yeah that would be the coolest office because you get all this traffic oh, that yeah. sits right there to go to new jersey free advertising free ad i know but this is the first floor obviously it's like the retail floor so for soho this is kind of yeah. the most valuable and we use this um uh kind of as co-work space so when clients and customers come through you know they can work from here as a brand new company in 2020 our logo is an s with a period, because the, the name is Sirhan period. And so then we reach out to Bang & Off. exclamation mark. Only when we do deals. Okay. Yeah, so they built this thing, which was nuts. And then we went to Bang & Olufsen, who have a great store right up here. And they had this really cool circular speaker that goes on the wall. And so we went to them and said, hey, listen, can I put this in a floor to match my sure. logo? And then the S just sort of separates that yeah. space from this space. Um, I just read a book, there it is. This really cool graphic artist did this painting all the way up, all four floors. This is studios. Everyone's here, they're, hey guys. You initially wanted to be an actor yes. in New York, and then now in a really sort of, sort of Weird way. fascinating way, yeah. like you're, you're still a performer. Yeah. This is the perfect Park Avenue home. Yeah, as How, myself. Yeah. <laughs> That's myself. Yeah, Ryan playing Ryan. Yeah, an elevated version of, of Ryan, I would say. Yeah, an aspirational. This home is the most expensive home in the United States. Are you on camera? Like, are you filming content every single day? Oh, by far. You know, I did a TV show called Million Dollar Listing New York for a long time, and all the spin-offs that came with that from Bravo. I mean, I was on camera for Bravo, like, almost every day for 10 years. This is, see, so there's cell phone booths and everything. This is, yeah, it's still early. Hi. This was our education office, because okay. we run a big education program called Sell It Like Sir Hans. This is like the quiet Sweet. car for agents now. Okay. They'll come down here and they'll just like do emails for 10 hours. Or, and then this is podcast room. Okay. So our agents and clients and developers and everybody, you know, lawyers, kind of everyone yeah. in our wheelhouse, they'll come down here and they'll, they'll do podcasts. So this is the second floor. You've done a lot of reality TV. Yeah. Tell us about this Netflix gig. I mean, Million Dollar Listing ended it ended in 2021. So then I had the idea for, hey, let's do something that follows our business. Agents here, me, and without giving too much away because I'm not allowed to um, talk to a lot of the different streamers and, and networks and went with Netflix and um, it comes out soon. Amazing. Yeah, when? so you'll see all this soon, soon. Okay. I don't know, okay. don't get me in trouble. Okay. It's our deal wall. Okay. Pre-COVID, closings were in person and you would get a yeah. check. So you get a commission check. And so you take that commission check, you deposit it, and then it's just trash, basically. You know, you mm. shred it. And so we would take it and we would put it up on a piece of art. You're an agent, you just worked for 14 months to get that one deal yeah. done, save it. And so post COVID, there's no checks anymore. And so we came in and I was like, what do I do here? You know what, every time you do a deal you're proud of, come over to this wall, write it down, initial it, go from there. Hello, everybody. The amount of business we get from people who are stuck in Soho traffic at rush hour on the weekends, who then reach out to us like, hey, well, I don't wanna be stuck in traffic anymore. I should probably just live here. Oh and I just yeah. drove by your building. It took me an hour to drive five feet. I'm like, hey, there you go. This is every movie ticket and concert ticket and play ticket from the mid 90s that I held on to. And then when tickets went away, I had this huge box and I gave them to um, uh, this amazing artist. Her name is Kristen Simmons. And it was like, can you turn these into art? And then up here, oh, this is actually the last check art we ever did. 
we had checks for the first three months of 2020 because this art used like our 2019 and 2018 and like the art is just ginormous and so after this it all became direct deposits and printing out a direct deposit mm -hmm. Confirmation is not nearly as much fun. It's not the same. So this is the top of the building. So there's a boardroom. We then have team rooms. So, you know, agents work solo, but then they also have teams. Mm -hmm. And then, so they have these different team rooms that they can plug and play. We'd never started a company before, you know? Right. And so we just took all this construction paper and wrote down like, all right, what do we do? We need to have goals. <laughs> like by June 1st of 2020, our goal yeah. is to have all of our documents and everything done. And so agreements, licensing, culture, you know, all that stuff, we created these and then we just hung on to them through the pandemic and then frame them. No, but I think there's something very helpful actually about seeing, instead of just having everything on your computer, you actually get to see what do I need to do? And there's something powerful about that kind of I'm visual. definitely like a millennial paper guy, <laughs> sadly. The, ger the geriatric millennials. I send a lot of emails that I'm like, can you print this, please? And then this is my office. People are obsessed with your time management. Mm. Even Harvard is. They asked you. To oh do yeah, right little, here. They asked you to do a, a case study. I know. They just sent this to me. Yeah, Harvard reached out to me, and they Harvard Business School reached out to me, and they said they wanted to write a case study on me. And I just, at first, I thought it was a joke, and then they were like, "No, it's real." I was like, "What are you gonna? What are you what, about real estate? Yeah. Maybe reality TV? Maybe content to commerce?" Like, no. The most interesting thing about you is your time management. It's less about waking up early and going to bed late. It's mostly about maximizing the time that we have. I always thought about time when I got into the sales business and in real estate as money. Time is money. And I have to look at every day like I am the CEO of that bank of time. And it just helped me early on in my business really figure out how to be relentless, mm. like how to have emotional strength, like how to build a thick skin. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I have to do a pitch right now for a $50 million penthouse on Central Park West, so okay. so you have to go. But this has been awesome. Great Thank you so you. much. Yeah. So there you have it, the incredible headquarters of Ryan Sirhan. We learned this is the old Tommy Hilfiger flagship store. We learned how he spends his time and that he had a Harvard Business Review case study about him. We learned he still likes his emails printed. And we just saw him maybe close a $50 million deal. Until next time, I'm Lydia Moynihan.